Hey folks, in this video we're going to go over the article analysis uh, so that you understand what needs to be done and how to do it. So if you're in the course uh, and you come over to course materials, you have the article analysis guidelines right here. And when you click on those, it will pop you out to a new window where you'll have the guidelines. Now there's two steps to this, at least in, in kind of the big picture. The first step is selecting or finding an article. And the second is actually writing your essay. So we're going to walk through that first part really quick here. Uh, the goal is to find an academic article in a literary journal. Right. So when I talk about finding an article, I'm not talking about finding something in Newsweek or National Geographic, but actually an academic journal that is peer reviewed and published uh, for the purposes of other literary scholars. So we kind of have this process set out here, which is you find that article. And this is this is the tricky part uh, in the sense that it will take you a while to find an article that works for you. Then you're going to post the article citation to the discussion board and we'll cover that. And then the, the hard part is reading, rereading, taking notes on the article and actually writing the essay addressing six key elements. So first let's talk about finding an academic article. So as I said, an academic article is written by a knowledgeable person within the field. They typically have degrees in that field. It's published in an academic literary journal. Again, they typically will say Journal of American Literature, Journal of something like that. It'll be clear either in the title or in the description of the journal that it is focused on literature of one sort or another. Um, and the journal's focus is on building knowledge, not on giving updates about who recently published a book, um, those types of things. So the final piece is that it should go through a peer review process. Um, and that's where other scholars look at it, scrutinize it, give feedback to make it a more polished work. Now, in terms of the kind of article, you want something that is at least 12 pages of writing. So don't, you know, take a look, do a count. You don't want something that's really under that. So, you know, see if there's a lot of end notes, if there's a lot of pictures, etc. Part of the reason is that if the shorter, there's this correlation between the shorter an article is, the more it assumes of its audience. And what I would say is, as people new within this field, new in looking at literary articles, um, you want something that's a little bit more expansive, that's a little bit more detailed, because it's, it's easier to get lost in a short article than a long article, funny enough. Um, so as I said, published in a literary journal, um, must be an actual article. So be careful. Make sure it's not a book review. Yes, there are 10 page book reviews out there. Make sure it's not an editorial or anything else. Make sure it's an actual article that's trying to make an argument. Um, and it needs to focus and explore a specific written work. Now, that written work, I would recommend, be something we look at in class, but it doesn't have to be. If there is a work, uh, it's a novel, a short story, a play that you are really interested in and excited about, go for it. You know, look at that or, or look for a journal article that covers that. I encourage you to do that, but just make sure that it covers a written work. Um, and again, you should be familiar with that written work. So again, it, maybe it is something within the course and you, you are reading it ahead of time. I don't, you know, it's up to you, but you do want to have some familiarity so that you can get a sense of what the, the author of the article is saying about the creation of that work. All right. So then the next step is going to be finding an article. And so what we have here is this link uh, that will bring you to all of the library's journals. Uh, literary journals in particular. So you can click on that and it will pop up a nice list of all the ones that focus on literature. And you're welcome to jump around and kind of see which ones are of interest to you. Or I've provided a list here of several different ones that might be of interest. So I'm going to go with 20th century literature. And now it'll bring me here, it'll tell me some things about what I should be prepared for, new full text unavailable for six years from the time of publication. So um, those are things to, to keep in mind. Now I can go through here and start to, you know, look at the individual episode, oh, individual episodes, individual articles within specific journals. Um, I can, 
I selected that. All, I selected all there. And the first time you you go want to go in deeper, it's going to ask you to log in. So you log in. Give it a second there, and so this actually brings you into the database. And now once you're here, what I like about this is I can search throughout all of it. And so I'm going to do a search for beloved, which is a work. And since that's a a reasonably common uh, term. I'm also going to type in the author, which is Toni Morrison, and see what we get for results. So this would be, I would be looking for an article that's about Beloved. Uh, it's one of my favorite novels, and then I would do my search. I'm going to start first just with Beloved and see what that returns, because this is just one journal, actually. All right, so this gives me a one return and that's just within this journal so this is this is starting to look interesting a new hysteria history and hysteria and tony morrison's beloved sounds like an interesting title uh, i can see in terms of page length that it's 19 pages so that's promising in terms of its length i'm going to click on it it's going to bring me into this page and uh, at this point if i want to go further i will click over here onto full text finder and it tells me I can potentially find this article in this particular uh, resource from the college. So I'll click on that. And you notice there's a bit of clicking around. Like some of this is going to be a chase. And this is part of what research is, is, is actually finding and looking for uh, different pieces of different pieces of research that you can access. But here I am. I may actually get into the journal itself. Um, yep, yeah, and here I am. Now what's really cool is that some of the databases set, a, set it up differently. This one, here it is on this page. I can download it if I want. Uh, I can read it on the page. I can also select the listen button and that will do a text to speech. Um, it's not great, but it might be useful to have as you read through this article. Um, meanwhile, once you've you know, the first thing I would say is you want to read a couple paragraphs, see if you can understand, see if you can appreciate it, see if it gels with what you have, what you know about the story. And if it is, fantastic. Yay, you've found an article. The next part of this, you know, you may find this and you may not like it and you may have to go back and start to look in other journals. That's part of the writing process. Um, one of the things to note is some of these uh some of these databases will have information like right up here, critical essay. That's that's acceptable. That works for what we're doing here. Um, and so you're trying to look around and what you want to actually find is a button like this that says cite. So if you select that, it will give you MLA 8th edition, which is fine and acceptable or APA. And this is the information that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the author, the article title, where it's published, uh, the journal volume, issue, date, um, and this only says the starting page, but for our requirements, please make sure you give the full page range. All right, so assuming this is the thing that, this is the one that I want, I'm gonna select, and then I'm just going to do Control C, which is the copy. I've got my article, now I actually wanna go back into the course, right? So we figured out what I wanted. I'm gonna come down to Discussions, and I'm gonna to come to right here, article analysis. So I'm gonna select, I'm gonna create thread, right? And this right here tells me the information that I need to include. Now I give, you know, my article and I paste it in there. Now remember, we talked about you want to include the full page length. So right here, I'm actually gonna do one through 19. Um, this gives me the, this gives me, if you put this in, this gives me the link that I can go and take a look at it myself, which is important. And then I'm just going to hit submit. Uh, or rather, when you hit submit, it'll be posted. I'll go in there, I'll take a look, I'll give you some feedback, and we'll go from there. Um, so that's the big first step. The next step is, of course, the actual reading of it and analyzing of it. So we're down here where you want to read it. Read it more than once. Look up words you don't know really interact, annotate, underline, take notes as you're reading it. Treat it like a conversation. Treat it like you're trying to challenge and understand um, what it's saying and how it's saying it. 
try to make sure you can identify the author's thesis, its purpose, uh, move into thinking about how the author explores the idea, um, examines, you know, really gets into the, the, the detail, and then take a look at the footnotes, the endnotes. What evidence does the author use to make this argument's claims? Um, so these are things that you want to be looking at as you're reading, and then you have your six points that you really want to get into uh, when you're actually writing it. So explaining what the article's main points are, like what is the article trying to say and how is it trying to say it? What is your opinion of the piece and your justification for that? So this is one of those tricky ones where students want to say it was boring, it was dull. That's not really the opinion we're looking at. We're looking at the opinion, the way in which you understand and evaluate the value of such an article, right? So, so saying that it's boring doesn't really help in the sense that, well, academic articles aren't meant to be exciting and riveting. They're meant to make a very clear, you know, nuanced argument about something. So that's what you want to be thinking of. How clear is the argument? How well does it make its points? Does it use valid evidence? Does it use clear logic? Um, is it grounding its ideas in from other people and citing those people accordingly? You then want to think about how does this relate? Um, how is it relatable? How does it connect to the different course materials? Uh, whether those the you know the different things that we're reading, how do you see this fitting in? How maybe in how it makes it our, its argument, maybe in how it uses certain terms, but really trying to connect what you're seeing in this article with what we're doing in the course. And then we get into um, a few smaller pieces here, which is take a look at the notes, take a look at the bibliography. Does it make sense about the research that the author uses? Does it coincide with what your expectation would be for an article about this particular work? Uh, you also want to do a little bit of exploration, a little bit of research on the author's background, right? And so you want to talk about, you know, who is this author to write this and where do you find this person's, you know, what what seems to be the impetus for the author to write this. And then finally, you want to talk about how this particular article fits into the particular journal that it's published in and how do those things relate. So that's kind of the rundown of how we're doing this. And the thing to remember is that the first step is really that article selection. And that's the thing that will be due first. And then later on, the following week, you will have the actual essay that you'll be writing based on that. So hopefully this clears things up. Let me know if you have questions and thank you so much.